What a great place to have an office. Being in Africa is pretty amazing. I've lived here most of my life and the really exciting thing about what we're doing with Mawingu is we're giving back. We're helping millions of people actually improve their, their quality of life and giving them an opportunity that they perhaps wouldn't have had without this new technology being available to them now. The Wingu is an initiative to introduce rural broadband into Kenya, providing access to the 80% of Kenyans who currently have no internet whatsoever. We need to take this from the urban areas to rural areas and be able to change the livelihood of many, many people. We've just left the west side of the rift, flying to the east, and we're going to land down at the foot of the engrowment. And there's a small Maasai uh, community down there. They've got no power and they have no internet. So this is, we're, we're wanting to uh, hook these guys up. is empowering. It's something you and I take for granted. Mawingo is focusing on a few key areas. Education is key. Healthcare is another opportunity where we can make a real impact, supporting government initiatives, connecting community centers. Can you imagine the opportunity when you have an electronic waterfall of knowledge and information floating like a mist onto that village? that's going to have a life-changing impact for them. It's a day to get to, to where there is power and internet. It's a 200 shilling journey there and a 200 shilling journey back. That's incredibly expensive. These people just haven't got that kind of money. Getting out of this place, it will take you time because we don't have like a public fear cost to use here. It's easy to communicate you now with people. For my heart, it's unexplainable because I know the impact is a lot to me, my family, and my community surrounding me. We have the convergence of technologies. When you look at these kids, this is probably the most profound thing they've seen. The community had never had real access to broadband at their school. Their level of knowledge was really pretty impressive. Remember, these are kids who have never seen a computer before, and yet it took about 90 seconds for them to get to touch this thing. They got a sense of swiping the device and moving things around. You can learn all kinds of information about New York, where it is on the map. Let me see how very hardworking students, and given this opportunity, they are going to improve in their academic performance. They will not have the challenges they, they used to have because of the shortage of textbooks. Now they can get information from the internet. We've got the magic formula. And through this incredible new white space radio technology, using the old TV spectrum, we send our signals down the UHF for miles. Receive it on old fashioned TV aerial and turn it into something unbelievably useful. And in fact, we're actually creating thousands of entrepreneurs. We're taking a Kenyan who currently perhaps doesn't even have a job, lives in a village. We're educating, training, supporting, and giving him technology that's going to make him sustainable in his own right. So he's saying that we can send messages to friends or to the you know, business if you want to sell a good, you can send it right out. To, to a person from far you, that you think even you'll get more money than just selling your goods here. So he's, he thinks that uh, it's just more good thing. I don't think that we'll get out of the culture with the internet. The work that is being done by Microsoft and Indigo uh, in partnership with the government of Kenya has actually a potential of creating new Bill Gates uh, from the rural areas because these people would never have access to technology and access to technology uh, leads to uh, people being more creative, more innovative. We can begin now to partner with the rest of the world simply because we have been able to access knowledge. 
the next two to three years, we want to ensure that we have covered every health center, school, tertiary colleges throughout the country.